One day more, one more time. A new multi-year touring production of Les Mis just hit the road. Charlie Cooper's here with the stars. Thanks, Tamsin. Nick Cartel and Preston Truman Boyd are bringing the epic musical Les Mis to a city near you. I got to chat with them at the Civilian Hotel. Nick and Preston, super excited to have you guys here, but especially excited with the relaunch of Les Mis yeah. kicking off in October. Can you guys kind of tell us a little bit about how you guys are feeling right now? Whew. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that, that everybody is so ready to get back into the theater, right? And I know for us especially, we are so ready to get back to work. We are ready to take a show like this, an epic show like Les Mis that connects with so many people and take it back across the country. You know, I feel like now coming back to this, it's so important to really focus on the storytelling and to be able to be together and to kind of make a pact as a cast to be like, we're gonna tell this story, the country needs to hear this story and we're all just so honored to be at the helm of it. Lord, let me find him that I may see him safe behind bars. I will never rest till then, this I swear. Do you guys think being off of the stage or taking a little bit of time off of the stage has changed you guys in any way? I mean, from yeah, I think for both of us. I mean, me especially, uh, not only pandemic, but then I also had a baby during the pandemic. So now, d playing Valjean, playing this character that becomes a father in the show, now that I am a father, oh, things are hitting me much differently than they did before. I, I, we were singing a line from the show the other day, and I was just all of a sudden got teared up and choked up. And so just revisiting this material now with this new take of being a dad is, is so interesting. I, and for me, I think just the idea of not having a piece of yourself over these past few years, or two and a half, whatever you want to call it, feels like five years. Yeah. <laughs> but to, to actually rediscover that part of you and to bring it into the room and share it with people, to kind of feel vulnerable again and to put yourself out there and see what feels good and what feels bad and, and uh, just kind of um, wrapping that up in a little bow and kind of sending it on with uh, this, the beginning of this journey has been really, really exciting. You guys, of course, are returning to your respective roles, but when you first took on those roles, was it a little nerve wracking to know that you would be a part of a show that means so much to so many people? It's a huge responsibility to take that on and to, you know, to uh, embody these these people that are such a huge part of a story that so many people need to hear is an honor. As an actor, it's really exciting to push yourself in that way and to see how far you can really become somebody uh, that that is a part of this really great story. And we also have a responsibility to this material, right? I mean, the show's been running for over 35 years. And so every time you go into a new city, everybody remembers the first time that they saw Les Mis, right? Either the 10th anniversary concert, the 25th anniversary concert, or a production that toured before. So we have a responsibility to not only to that material and to bring these characters to life, and that I think is what is also thrilling is that we get to reinvent who we think these characters are and hope that they connect with our audiences. My sister and I watched that VHS of the 10th yeah. anniversary yeah. until it did not work anymore. <laughs> you know, it was like one day we we're like, oh, okay, well, I guess we wore it out. So, you know, it's, it's just, again, an honor. Let him rest, heaven on the road is being able to interact with different audiences, seeing how they, they react to the show. What are you guys most excited about as far as just bringing this to people all, all across the country? Well, the thing that I love is that we have, like I said before, we've, we have audience members that have seen the show before, mm -hmm. right? And maybe the first time they saw the show, they connected with characters like Marius and Cosette and Eponine because they were teenagers or they were seeing it, you know, in their teen years. But now their parents and they're connecting with Valjean and Javert and Fantine and the sacrifices that those characters are making and they're bringing their children to see the show and their children are connecting with these characters and so it just, it really creates full circle moments for families and, and I think the conversations that come out of those moments are, are what is so remarkable about a show like this that has stood the test of time.